hello guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you're welcome i am an ain poaching i'm an author and i also do business now today's video is me sharing with you a crumble recipe okay i've got a book coming out that is called crumble and all these recipes um will be found in that book all right now um i've got the crumble uh, the um, the rhubarb here okay so it's rhubarb and blackberry crumble so this rhubarb was already washed and chopped up and put in the freezer in summertime okay because that's when um most of rhubarb is harvested okay and then stored in the freezer for winter times okay because crumble is normally eaten in winter for dessert because it's a heavy dessert it's a hot dessert and it's just very nice all right so it's already been washed i just took it out a tub of them because i took out two tubs but this can this can only make one and um, can only take one tub okay otherwise there will not be any space for blackberries and then i took out a tub of blackberries but i'm only going to use a few all right of the blackberries and the same was done with the blackberries i washed the blackberries um after harvesting in summer okay so blackberries are normally harvested from summer to autumn oh, that is gone so we in the bin in a bit so i'll just drop a few of these blackberries on the side so when the rhubarb cooks down okay there'll be more space for it to be evened out okay so i'll just pop a few more because I want to be able to have the blackberry flavor throughout the crumble not just one side okay so I'll just pop one more there okay so that's that so now I'm gonna add some more water to this tray here but before i do that let me cover this and put it back in the freezer so it doesn't throw out okay so i've got half a cup of water here but i'm only going to use a little bit and this is to help the crumble cook down I've used most of it okay so it's gonna cook the um, the fruits down into a compote texture okay and once that has cooked down to a compote texture then I can put the crumble mix on top and then I can um, put it back in the oven for it to brown now let me show you so once the fruits have cooked down okay i will add the crumble mix okay i use this mix here but you can make your own crumble mix topping by using plain flour okay unsalted butter and a bit of sugar okay and then you mix all of it together to have the crumble topping all right and then if you want your crumble um top to be a bit crunchy you can add rolled oats but i normally use just a handful of um porridge oats okay because i can't find rolled oats at the moment in our corner store okay so i'm improvising 
now before i put this in the oven to cook i'm adding um just a bit of sugar okay just a bit of sugar because the rhubarb is um what's it called is sour although the blackberry is not sour so that's why i would use just a tablespoon and a half of sugar okay because the topping already has sugar the crumble mix has sugar in there so i don't need to, a lot of sugar and then i'll serve um i'll put this in the oven now okay and then um let me show you so once my crumble has cooked and is ready to serve i'll serve it with um custard okay devon custard i'll warm this up on the oven top on the what's it called cooker top and serve it with the crumble but you can serve your crumble with ice cream if you want okay so let's pop that in the oven so i'm just gonna clean my surface that oven dish that i'm using by the way we have two a set of two in our online store so you can check out our online store on vented and purchase some household items we've got we've currently got baby weaning utensils we've got those um oven dish one that you've seen me use we've got two of them we're selling as a set um and then we've got salad server in there as well and i'm looking to add some more um household items for you to be able to purchase from there directly that is it guys i shall see you in the next video bye